Hello my dear students welcome to my channel easy learning with garima ma'am today in this video we will learn how to solve story problems of addition and subtraction together students if you have not subscribed my channel till now then please subscribe it and also press the bell icon to get the notifications of my latest videos now why to wait let's start today we will solve exercise 5e and exercise 5z so let's start with exercise 5e question number 2 here question is saying that a man earns rupees 6590 per month and his wife earns rupees 3280 per month if they spend rupees 7800 per month then how much do they save in each month let us solve question number 2 Here the first statement will be monthly earning of a man is equal to rupees six thousand five hundred ninety. Second statement will be monthly earning of his wife is equal to rupees three thousand two hundred eighty. So third statement will be therefore monthly earning of both of them will be equal to. Rupees six thousand five hundred ninety plus rupees three thousand two hundred eighty. Here we will add both the terms. And now, as an answer, we will get nine thousand eight hundred seventy. After addition, we'll get it. Now, the next statement will be their monthly expenditure is equal to rupees seven thousand eight hundred. Therefore, their monthly saving will be equal to rupees nine thousand eight hundred seventy minus rupees seven thousand eight hundred. Again, students, you have to subtract both the terms, and after subtraction, whatever answer will come, you have to write in this gap. After that, you have to write the answer. While writing the answer, whatever numerical he will come here, the same number you will write here again, and then you have to write do they save each month? I am showing you again the whole problem. You can take screenshot also for your help. Is it clear? Okay. Now let us move on to question number three. Here it is saying that the total number of books in a library is nine thousand nine hundred eighty-seven, which includes textbooks and books on fiction, travel, and biographies. If there are one thousand eight hundred seventy-six textbooks. Two thousand seven hundred ninety-eight books on travel and eight hundred seventy-five books on biographies. Then, how many books are there on fiction in the library? Let us solve question number three. Here, the first statement you have to write as total number of books in the library is equal to nine thousand nine hundred eighty-seven. Second statement you have to write the number of textbook is equal to one thousand eight hundred seventy six. Third statement you have to write the number of books on travel is equal to two thousand seven hundred ninety eight. Next statement will be the number of books on biographies is equal to eight hundred seventy five. Therefore total number of known books is equal to 1876 plus 2798 plus 857 So all these three terms we have to add and then whatever answer will come you have to write here Next next statement will be 
therefore number of books on fiction is equal to 9987 minus 5531 Further, you have to subtract both the terms. To then, you have to subtract here both the terms. After that, you have to write the answer. Like whatever answer will come here, the same number again you have to write here. Then you have to write books are there on fiction in the library. I am showing you again. Now let's move on to exercise 5G. Here the first question is Ramesh deposited in the bank rupees 57320 on Monday. Rupees 8975 on Tuesday and rupees 6895 on Wednesday. He had to withdraw rupees 25980 on Thursday. So what is the balance in his account now let us solve question number 1 here you have to write the first statement as amount deposited by ramesh on monday is equal to rupees 57320 the second statement you have to write the amount deposited by him on tuesday is equal to rupees 8975 Next statement will be amount deposited by him on Wednesday is equal to six thousand eight hundred ninety-five. Next statement will be amount withdrawal by him on Thursday is equal to rupees twenty-five thousand nine hundred eighty. Therefore, balance in his account now will be equal to. Total amount deposited minus amount withdrawn. So at first we will calculate this total amount deposited. Amount withdrawal given over here, and we will calculate the total amount of deposited. For that, to get the total amount deposited, what we'll do? We'll add all these three terms. Rupees fifty seven thousand three hundred twenty plus rupees eight thousand nine hundred seventy five. Plus rupees six thousand eight hundred ninety five. We'll add all these three terms. After addition, we'll write here answer. Next, now we'll calculate the balance in his account. That will be equal to seventy three thousand one hundred ninety minus rupees twenty five thousand nine hundred eighty. Now we have to subtract these two terms. students you will do the subtraction blank space i have left for you and after that whatever answer will come here the same number you have to write here then you will write is the balance in his account now is that clear i'm showing you again let us solve question number 2 here question is saying that mr sinha on rupees 3 lakh 57360 in two years in one of those years he earned rupees 1 lakh 14490 how much did he earn in other year let us solve question number 2 Here, the, as a first statement, you will write Mr. Sinha's earning in two years is equal to rupees three lakh fifty-seven thousand three 
57,360. Second statement you have to write. His earning of first year is equal to rupees 1,14,490. Therefore, his earning of the other year is equal to rupees three lakh fifty seven thousand three hundred sixty minus rupees one lakh fourteen thousand four hundred ninety. Then you have to subtract both the terms, and after subtracting, see whatever answer will come. The same number again. You have to write here while writing the answer. Then you will write. He did on in the other year. Clear? Now let us solve question number three. The total number of men, women, and children in a town is ninety-nine thousand three hundred fifty-eight. If the number of men is Forty thousand two hundred eighty-six, and that of women is thirty-nine thousand three hundred fifty. How many children are there in the town? Let us solve question number three. Here, at first, you have to write the number of total members in a town is equal to ninety-nine thousand three hundred fifty-eight. Next, you have to write the number of men. Members is equal to forty thousand two hundred eighty-six. Then you have to write number of women members is equal to thirty-nine thousand three hundred fifty. Therefore, total number of men and women together is equal to forty thousand two hundred eighty-six plus thirty-nine thousand three hundred fifty. After that, you have to add both the terms, and you have to write answer here. Then you have to write the number of children member is equal to the total number of member in the town minus total number of men and women together. This total number of men and women together we have calculated over here, and here the total number of member in the town given over here the first term. So we will write both the terms and we will subtract. Number of children is equal to ninety nine thousand three hundred fifty eight minus seventy nine thousand six hundred thirty six. After that we have to subtract both the terms and. Whatever answer will come, you have to write over here. After that, while writing answer, you have to write whatever answer will come over here. The same number again, you will write fill here. Then you have to write answer as there are children in the town. I'm showing you again. Come to question number four. It is very easy question. The sum of two numbers is ninety-five thousand three hundred twenty-eight. If one number is a thirty-eight thousand five hundred sixty-seven, then find the other number. Now let us solve question number four. Here, the first statement you have to write: the sum of two numbers is equal to. Ninety-five thousand three hundred twenty-eight. Next, you have to write if the first number is equal to thirty-eight thousand five hundred sixty-seven. Therefore, the other number will be equal to ninety-five thousand three hundred twenty-eight minus thirty-eight thousand five hundred sixty-seven. 
Then both of the terms you have to subtract here. Children, you have to do the calculation portion. Whatever answer will come, the same number again you will write over here. Then you will write is the other number. Clear? Now we will solve question number 5. By how much is 89,370? Greater than 78,475. Very simple. Now let us solve question number 5. Here first you have to write value by which 89,370 is greater than 78,475. You have to subtract both the terms and directly write the answer by this much. 89,370 is greater than 78,475. Now let us solve question number 6. Two candidates contested an election. 78,475 votes were polled in all. So 39,862 votes were polled in favor of one candidate and 2,974 votes were found invalid. How many votes were polled in favor of other candidate? Let us solve this question. First statement you have to write number of total votes polled. That is equal to 78,475. Next statement we have to write number of votes pay polled in the favor of first candidate equal to 39,862. Next statement will be number of invalid votes is equal to 2,974. After that you will write therefore number of votes polled in the favor of other candidate is equal to Number of total votes polled minus number of votes polled in the favor of first candidate plus number of invalid votes. So here number of total votes given over here and the here number of votes polled in the favor of first candidate given over here and the number of invalid votes given over here. So we will <coughs> at first we will do the addition. We will add 39,862 plus 2,974. I have already added over here and written the answer here. Then we will subtract whatever will come after the addition. That number we will subtract from 78,475. And students, this calculation I have left for you. You have to do this calculation. After that, you will write answer. And while writing answer, first you will write whatever number will come. Same number you will write over here. Then you will write number of votes were polled in favor of other candidate. Okay, I am showing you again. I hope this video had performed useful to you with many informative terms. If you got this video important, then please like, share and subscribe my channel. But don't forget to press the bell icon. Till then, bye-bye.